The concept of this lesson is the Pythagorean theorem and the fact that it can be used backwards not only to solve for the missing side of a triangle as we've used it before but turned inside out to then decide if the three sides of a triangle were given represent a right triangle. We know that the Pythagorean theorem works with right triangles as long as you have any triangle with a 90 degree angle like so as long as it has a 90 degree angle, the Pythagorean theorem says that one side, A, squared, plus another side, the other short side, B, squared, will equal C, squared. And every time that works, as long as this is a right angle. Well, that tells us that we should be able to reverse that. And if we're given these three sides, if this squared plus this squared equals this squared, then the triangle must be a right angle triangle, or it wouldn't work. So that's what we're going to practice here. Our first example, A, asks us if a triangle that has sides of 5, 12, and 13 is actually a right angle triangle. So what we're going to do is draw that into a triangle here, just to sort of sketch it in a little bit. So our triangle has sides of 5, 12, and 13. And if this is a right angle triangle, then 5 squared plus 12 squared should equal 13 squared. Well, 5 squared is 25, and 12 squared is 144. And the question is, does that equal 13 squared? Well, 125 plus 1, or sorry, 25 plus 144 is 169, and 169 is 13 squared. So yes, this does work, and 5, 12, and 13 are the sides of a right angle triangle. Example B asks us the same question, only we have three different numbers this time. Are the numbers root 10, root 15, and 5 the number, numbers that represent three sides of a right triangle? Well, to check it, we need to put our two shorter sides, root 10, which should be a little bit more than a root of 9, which would be 3, so that's going to be smaller than 5. The root of 15 would be a little less than 4, um, because root 16 would be 4, so it's also less than 5. So root 10 and root 15 are our two shorter sides. So we should have the root of 10 squared plus the root of 15 squared equals 5 squared. Well, root 10 squared, we have a square that cancels the square root, so that gives us 10, plus root 15, well, those cancel, so we have 15, should equal 5 squared, which is 25. 10 plus 15 does equal 25, and the other side was already 25, so we have a true statement, which means that these three sides are three sides of a right angle triangle.